Go ahead. Uh, all right. So my objective was to create an advert <laughs> that will break general stereotypes about the genders created by the others. So I took two stereotypes, which is uh, women should cook and men like beer more than women do. And I tried to show it by s switching the roles. So basically putting a man in the kitchen and then woman with a beer. And uh, you can see that uh, if you look at the picture, you can see that the man, he doesn't really know what he's doing there. So it's kind of another stereotype that arose while I was doing my advert. But he looks quite... Uh, sort of like manly, he even has like uh, instruments for building there. So that's kind of, I think, in my opinion, that's this general uh, sort of manly kind of image that he created. And then woman, on the other hand, you can see that she's smiling, her hair is nicely done and stuff, so she is like a typical image of a woman, but she's r next to a beer fridge, and it shows that the stereotypes that we have nowadays are not always correct and some men well actually a lot of men like to cook and a lot of women like beer so my advert was to sort of flip them over and show that that's the real case right now and i used simple language as it was an advertisement so straight to the point just kitchen for him and a beer fridge for her nothing special and i, I chose a beer fridge and a kitchen because there are two objects that you can buy at a store well sort of like, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. Hey, uh, do you think the, the picture you chose of the man further uh, continues with stereotypes of males and their roles, or does it work against it? Well, it kind of, well, the, the fact that he doesn't know what he's doing kind of even enforces it that okay. it's not really these. Yes, but I couldn't find it. Like, uh, so if you look at this like a mathematical quantitation, which lots of times we do with advertisements, is our sort of equation equal? Does she counter or further stereotypes about females drinking beer? Counter. Okay. Cool. Hello, Michelle, we'll do. Hello, Michelle. Yes, he does. Fail. You should fail, buddy. Is it recording? It most certainly is. Your hands oh. voice, go ahead. Okay, uh, I made a comic to show how the switch from uh, gender domination, I mean, for thousands of years, uh, the male gender has been uh, known for, uh, has been, its domination has been ranked by their, uh, their how, par how physically powerful they are and their masculinity, mas how physically powerful they are. And uh, nowadays, you see that uh, that has became less and less of a of a priority for males, and how the female the females are in general are get, are getting more and more uh, equal the males. But in this uh, in this uh, comic, I show um, a man trying to open a bowl of soda, and uh, he can't open it, so he give it uh, to a female. And uh, she easily opens it, and then she asks him to get back in the kitchen. <laughs> which the kitchen in uh, uh, I use the kitchen because it's generally uh, seen as the l less dominant person in the in, uh, it is the place of the less dominant person in society, while the other more powerful people are outside either working and interacting with other people. And as you see, the man getting back into the kitchen, meaning he's the le less powerful in this situation. And then you uh, you see a big picture of a man, a big man, saying that's your future if you don't g uh, hit the gym, boy. The uh, reason I use the word boy and not man or uh, male is because uh, it under uh, it, it makes uh, the the re the reader the boy feel less powerful and uh, l less dominant, while a man is able to. Uh, to sustain himself as a big person in the society while a boy is a small ranking person. And a gym makes a man a man and a boy, yeah. <laughs>